Nigeria's largest city, Lagos, woke to another morning of unrest on Wednesday. Despite a round-the-clock curfew and the president calling for understanding and calm, a TV station was set on fire in the morning and video verified by Reuters showed police kicked and shot a man. It follows a day of violence where soldiers opened fire on Nigerians protesting against police brutality. And according to four witnesses who spoke to Reuters, at least two people were shot. Thousands in Nigeria have demonstrated for nearly two weeks in what was initially focused against a police unit called the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, accused of extortion, harassment, torture and murders. But more Nigerians have filled the streets, driven by poverty and economic hardship from the coronavirus. By Wednesday, police set up checkpoints as they tried to enforce the curfew. But groups of men were seen blocking major roads and overturning traffic signs. Human rights group Amnesty International said the Nigerian army and police killed at least 12 peaceful protesters at two locations in Lagos on Tuesday. And over 50 have died across the country since protests began on October 8th. A Lagos police spokesman told Reuters through WhatsApp that he was, quote, not aware of any such allegation regarding the man who was kicked and shot and said that there were no killings in the district of Alauza, one of the locations where Amnesty said protesters were killed. And instead he said it was, quote, a very peaceful place. The turmoil has boiled over beyond Lagos, including the oil production hub in the south. The TV station attacked on Wednesday is believed to be owned by Bola Ahmed Tunubu, former governor of Lagos State, who is believed to have used his influence to bring the last three governors to power. Many also believe he owns the toll gate that has been the site of daily protests and is where the protesters were fired upon on Tuesday.